So as I'm going through my bits and bobs, I realized that I had not yet made a video about this thing. And this is a vintage DAC that I inherited from my grandparents' household in Hong Kong. Now, one of the uh, things I never mentioned because it was a bit sad, but one of the things about the last two trips that I took to Hong Kong and that I made headphone safari videos for, they were actually for funerals because um, my grandma and my grandpa and my uncle uh, all passed away in those years. My uncle was a cool guy. Uh, I got a lot of my love for computers and electronics uh, from a lot of fond memories watching him play Diablo uh, over his shoulder. Uh, and he was, he was really into um, programming and gadgets and that kind of thing. My grandma was uh, always really sweet to me. Um, whenever I came over, she would make, uh, she would offer me Vita lemon tea. Uh, and when I was a really young kid, she would always make me bird's nest uh, sweet soup, pong so. And my grandpa was real old school. And I mean, so old school that every night for dinner, he would have a bowl of rice and a glass of cognac. And uh, he lived to well over 90, so I suppose it couldn't have been too bad for him. In fact, he was so old school that uh, when he passed away and we were going through his records, we found out that every month he would personally, to pay the electricity bill, he would personally uh, go to the main office of the electricity company in Hong Kong and pay in person. And I wasn't even aware that you could do such a thing, uh, especially in a very hustle bustle place like Hong Kong. So on my last trip to Hong Kong, I took home this thing and it's a 20 bit digital to audio converter. I believe it's one of these R to R units. That's all the rage these days, but you know, this is a genuine vintage model. Uh, it was made by a company named Monarchy Audio, but you can see the faceplate is missing. I assume that one of the extended family's many children either took it off or ate it. On the back, uh, we have the model number. It's the model 22A, and again, made by Monarchy Audio in the USA. Um, what's uh, sort of surprising to me is that I couldn't find much information about this unit online, but I see that the company itself, Monarchy Audio, still appears to be kicking around. Uh, they still have an operational website. Um, it has both RCA and balanced outputs, so conceivably I could use this to feed the Stax amp. Um, and it's got optical input and coaxial input. Now, sadly, I only took it out of the bubble wrap today and I was trying to get it to work and unfortunately I can't seem to get it to work or at least no sound is coming out of the RCA outputs. Uh, when I plug it into power, I can get the uh, optical light to light up. The coaxial doesn't. And frankly, the optical is a little um, touch and go at this point. Oh, it's working now. Um, but I'm not sure, I haven't tried the balanced outputs and frankly the terminals on the back look a bit corroded so maybe I should go over them with some contact cleaner. Because what I really want to do, um, and frankly I don't know if this uh, was my uncle's purchase or my grandpa's purchase, I'm kind of assuming it was my uncle's because he seemed to be a bit more into the technology side of things. Um, but I also have some of my uncle's old CD collection including uh, this interesting looking album, um, a digitized, a synthesized version of Beethoven, uh, Beethoven's music, which um, I believe the sound engineer or the, uh, the person who worked on this uh, also worked on the music for the rides in Disneyland or something. I don't know. But <laughs> what I'd really like to be able to do is to um, play some of these albums on this machine and I tried using a PS2 with the optical out and even a PS3 and I couldn't 
couldn't get this thing um, to wake up. So I may have to look into getting it restored, though frankly I have no idea how much that's going to cost. So let me know in the comments um, you know what you think, if you know anything about this Monarchy Audio 22A, pretty much the only information I can find about it is some for sale listings on audio forums. Um, and let me know if you think it's worth getting this restored. Uh, in the meantime, I might go and have a glass of cognac myself.